So by now you've probably seen about a million Aventus videos, but you haven't seen one from Curly Sense yet. Cue the music! Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrea, also known as Curly Sense, and thank you so much for stopping by. Creed Aventus arguably one of the most iconic modern-day fragrances ever created and a name that has been talked about non-stop for the past 10 years. It has paved the way for hundreds of other fragrances, has been cloned to death and even holds the status as the king of fragrances by many in the community. Today I'll be discussing all things Aventus, including the brand new 10th anniversary bottle, which celebrates 10 years since this beautiful fragrance came to life. So I've been very fortunate to have spent some time with over 10 different bottles of Aventus, thanks to Cam over at Carolina Fragrance Reviews, and I've really gotten to understand how the smell of Aventus has evolved throughout the years. As some of you may already know, with Creed Aventus comes batch variations, which can make two different bottles have very different smells. For example, a batch from the year of 2013. Ah, uh, this is very dark, very woody, very smoky and it kind of reminds me of barbecue compared to a 2019 patch. Mmm, bergamot. Very zesty, like the skin of bergamot. Kind of reminds me of a lemon tart or something. By the way, if there's any diehard Aventus fans here, my favorite batch is 14K01. All in all, at its core, Aventus is Aventus. And it's a fragrance that I happen to love, regardless of how popular it is. But anyways... The real star of this show is this guy over here, so let's get into the video and take a quick look at the presentation. So first of all, I'm a big fan of the original Aventus design, which to me is very masculine and classic with an almost medieval vibe to it. The 10th anniversary bottle features a matte black design, which I am a sucker for, a silver cap and a textured triangular pattern wrapping around the body. A lot of people initially spoke badly of the design, but I gotta say, holding it right here in my hand, Looks damn good to me. Also, if you've ever sprayed a Crete fragrance, then you know how amazing these atomizers are. And no, I'm not gonna waste a spray just to show you. It's gonna cost me like 10 euros. In the opening of this batch, you'll be greeted by a very bright, tart and green bergamot note that's accompanied by a bit of apple. There's also definitely a sweetness that could be coming from pineapple, but if you're looking for an obvious sweet pineapple opening, you won't get it here. In the mid, you'll start to pick up on the classic Aventus mask and a slight woodiness as well. To my nose, I also get a hint of vanilla, which is definitely a plus in my books because I do love vanilla heavy batches of Aventus. At this stage though, that citrusy opening still lingers and bergamot remains the star player. In the dry down, the woodiness becomes a bit more prominent and mixes in beautifully with the mask and vanilla. Overall, I would have liked a bit more pineapple in the opening and more woodiness in the dry down, but it's still Aventus and and it smells great. Also, if any of you were wondering about any new or added notes in this 10th anniversary bottle, I can tell you that there's definitely no melon or leather or any notes like that to my nose. Performance of this particular bottle is not the greatest and I get around six hours of longevity with about one hour of moderate projection. With that being said, Aventus is known to benefit from maceration and I'm sure as this bottle sits for a few months, the performance will improve. In terms of seasons, Aventus is also known to be extremely versatile and it's usually an all year round fragrance. However, because of the performance and the very citrus heavy feel of this one, I would say that spring and summertime will fit best. Adding to the versatility, I also feel that Aventus can be a perfect everyday signature scent as well as a formal special occasion one. Compliment factor is another strong point for Aventus, although I have heard that this is known to be a bit of a boxer dropper. While I agree that many men love this scent and also compliment other men on it, I think the ratio is pretty even on compliments. I have definitely given compliments to men wearing Aventus and I know a lot of other women who love it too. Pricing on Aventus retails at $435 for 100ml, whether it's the 10th anniversary bottle or the regular bottle. Now, 
Is it worth the price? Well, it depends on who you ask. For someone who's not a huge Aventus fan or doesn't collect, then it might not be worth it. But for someone who loves the scent and the history behind the brand, then this is definitely an item that you'd want to add to your collection. At the end of the day, you're paying for the quality and the prestige behind the brand. And to me, it's no different than paying thousands for some Louis Vuitton luggage, for example. Conversation time! I would love to hear if you've tried the new 10th anniversary Aventus or what your thoughts are on Aventus in general. Thanks so much for watching and as always, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your bell notifications and give this video a big thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. See you soon!